Hi, my name is Abhishek Rai and I work for BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management product. Today I'm going to talk about associating cost centers to cloud users. The plan is to discuss and configure following. Associate cost centers to cloud users, remove associated cost centers, review cost center field on the forms. Once you're done with this configuration, you can use the cost center code while submitting the SOI request. You can also use cost center code to pull the reports from the database. In today's demo, we'll talk about associating cost centers to cloud users, uh, removing associated cost centers. We'll also select the cost centers while submitting the SOI request. We will also review cost center field on the forms. Let's switch to Cloud Administration Console and take a look at these configuration. Okay, I'm on a Cloud Lifecycle Management Administration Console and have logged in using my Cloud Admin user and I'm under the Tenant Workspace and under Tenant Management section. Let's select your tenant and click on users. Select your user and click on edit button. Switch to cost center. So under the cost centers, you have got two type of cost centers. One is primary cost center and then secondary cost centers. Only one primary cost centers can be associated with the cloud users. So we have got uh, a cost center configured for this user. Let's try to add another primary cost center. So click on this plus button, click on search button, select your cost center from the search result and click on add. Okay, so we have seen that the previous cost center has been replaced by the new cost center. Let's talk about secondary cost center. Apart from one primary cost center, you can associate multiple secondary cost centers to the cloud user. You can associate cost centers to users while adding new users or editing existing users. Only active cost centers can be associated to users. If you select a cost center as a primary cost center, you cannot add it as a secondary cost center. You can only add a secondary cost center if you have already associated a primary cost center with the user. When you search for the cost centers to associate to the users, all global cost centers and the cost centers added to the tenants are displayed in the search result. So let's try to add a secondary cost center and make sure that we uh, select this cost center. So click on plus button. If you click on search, system will only show you the available cost center. So as the other cost center has already been associated as a primary cost center, that won't be visible over here. So select that and click OK. Once that is done, click on uh, refresh button. So this section shows the cost center details. If you want to remove the associated cost centers to the cloud user, you must remove the secondary cost centers before removing the primary cost centers. Just to remove the cost centers, again, select your user, click on edit button, switch to cost center tab. Okay, let's try to delete the primary cost center. It says remove all associated secondary cost centers before removing the primary cost centers. So let's do that. So click on and now try to delete the primary one. So click on this button and then click OK. Click refresh. Just for the demo purpose, I'm going to have a user having a cost center. So let me quickly add that. So let me select this user, click add it, switch to cost center. Let's add the primary cost center. So let's select this one. And let's again select the secondary cost center. Click OK, click OK, and let's refresh this. Okay, so here you go. So you've got a primary cost centers. Now let's switch to the new end user portal and try to submit a request with this user. Switch to catalog section. Select any of your uh, available requestable offering. Give dummy names, demo, demo. Add to cart, proceed to checkout, click next, and then charge code. So we have got uh, both the charge code displayed over here. You can uh, choose any of them. So that's, that was your primary cost center and that was your uh, secondary cost center. So you can select either of them and select your decommission date just in case and submit a request. So switch to AR object list and search for BMC underscore service instance. Select that. So over here, you may see cost center over here. So that's the one. And then uh, let's open people form. And if you search your user with which you have uh, configured the cost center, then uh, you may see the data over here. So if you switch to financials, you may see the primary cost center over here and then the secondary cost center over here. I hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching this.